think that there is nothing wrong with celebrating Valentine's Day. Like I said earlier, it's better you do it once a year than you don't do it at all. So if there's one day that's dedicated for celebrating love, please celebrate it. Mm? Please, let's celebrate it. Because as Christians, that's how we would not say, eh, we are not doing it. It's not a Christian holiday. And there are some people, even pastors, who don't ever take the time to do something for their wives. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lade. Happy Valentine's Day. This is such a rare privilege that Faith Friday happens to be on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm wishing you loads of love on today's celebration. So celebrate love, receive love, collect love, <laughs> but don't get pregnant. Mm. Um, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lade and I make videos from the city of Abel Kuta Ogun State, Nigeria. Every Friday in 2020, the Lord has laid it on my heart to make videos that are relationship based, okay? And on the last Friday of every month, I'll be making a book review video. Today's not the last Friday, today's a special Friday, so I'm going to be kind of answering a special question. Or a special concern. Um, so in my local assembly, in my church, if you didn't know I'm a pastor's wife and God told us to start a ministry in America and that's why I'm here. Right? So in my church I've got the question about um, whether or not Christians should celebrate Valentine's Valentine's Day or the Valentine's holiday. And then there's a follow-up question. So if they do, if they can, what should they do on Valentine's? Okay, because there's this impression, even among believers, that Valentine is sinful, it's not good. I just start off by smiling like this. I like to smile when somebody asks me a question because sometimes I use that time to think. I'm going to tell you a brief history about Valentine's Day and then I'm going to talk about types of love and what types of love you should exhibit on Valentine's Day and that's it. Valentine's Day is a pagan, it's a pagan holiday. There was this animal, I think it's Lupicia, I don't know the name of the animal, that was killed and the blood of this animal was used to beat women and this beating was a form of uh, blessing them with um, fertility. It was not until the 5th century after the death of Christ that a hog by the name Galatius, Galatius, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right, correctly, declared February 14th to be St. Valentine's Day, making it less of a pagan holiday and just making it an okay holiday. So he declared it in the 5th century, he declared it St. Valentine's Day. In the 3rd century in Rome, under the command of Emperor Claudius, there was a Catholic priest called St. Valentine's. Okay, and what happened was Claudius was a very, very strong and determined emperor. One of the things that Claudius did was that his army, he was very particular about raising a strong army. And one of the things he wanted to do was make sure that they don't have any other ties, like love or family. So he even outrightly stopped marriages and just anything love related. But then St. Valentine, who was a Catholic priest, he still secretly joined people together in marriage. Can you imagine? <laughs> Um, because he believed in love and in marriage, so he still would secretly join people together and that got him in trouble. Soon enough, Emperor Claudius found out and when he found out, he sentenced uh, Saint Valentine, the Catholic priest, um, to jail and then to death. So while Saint Valentine was in, was in prison, he fell in love with his jailer's daughter. Um, and then he, signed a, he wrote a note to her, a love note to her, and he signed it in the end. He said, from your Valentine. From your, and that's so sweet. Oh my god, the story is so sweet. He signed it from your Valentine. So this one act of Saint Valentine signing that card and saying from your Valentine, that was a whole tradition that we now say is Valentine's Day. Today, in our day and age, this thing has gone past. It's an industry, it's a business. Now, Valentine's Day, just in 2018, um, six over just in 2018, 19.6 billion dollars was made around the time of Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day. So 
19.6 billion dollars just in the US. That's a lot of money. Um, and why is that? Because people on Valentine's Day is the day people show love. So on Valentine's Day, people are buying roses and candles and chocolates and diamonds and all these things for their loved ones. So that is why it is the day to show love, and that is why a lot of money is spent and a lot of money is made on this holiday, Valentine. So speaking of gifts, um, what kind of gifts or what should a Christian do, a believer? To celebrate Valentine, I think that there is nothing wrong with celebrating Valentine's Day. Okay, but as a believer, you know that there, the, Valentine's Day is showing love, receiving love, celebrating love, but it's a particular type of love which is eros. And there are three types of love. If you're a believer, you should know that. There are three types there's eros, there's filio, and there's agape. I'm going to explain those, but those are all those expressions of love are what you should celebrate and express and give during this holiday valentine's and not only valentine's i feel like one day is too it's too little for us to express love but if it's just that one day you do it it's better than nothing okay so i'm going to go right into the three types of love and how you should express those on valentine's and i'm going to start with the first one which is agape agape is the love of god in first john chapter 4 and verse 8 the bible records that god is love god himself the embodiment of god is love he is love and we shouldn't restrict a show of love because it's a lifestyle. The, the, the lifestyle of a believer is the life of love. To love your neighbor as yourself. You love yourself first. I talked about that on this channel before, before you can love your neighbor. And the video I talked about how to have a good relationship with yourself, you see it here. Okay. So Valentine's Day is, is a great time to preach the gospel because the atmosphere of love is everywhere. If you go to some of the supermarkets and the grocery stores and just these um, department stores, everywhere is decorated red with heart shapes and everywhere is just lovey dovey, you know what I mean? So it's not a bad idea to preach the gospel on Valentine's Day or in the month of February because people's hearts are already in the love mode. So when you go to walk up to somebody and you say, Oh, you look lovely today. I love, you know, pick something that you like about their outfit and just have a conversation like, can I share something with you? Somebody told me they love you so much. Then you can get their attention and anything. Oh, me, wow, wow, wow. They love you so much that they gave their life for you. Like they, they came and they died. So that's a good way to start a conversation. So you can preach the gospel on Valentine's Day. The next type of love is filio. Filio is brotherly love, the type of love that you show to your brethren, your brother, your friends, your loved ones. So what? something else you can do on Valentine's Day is to call your loved ones, the ones that you haven't heard from in such a long time. Call them, just tell them uh, happy Valentine's or uh, I just wanted to hear your voice so I love you so much, God bless you. You can also pray for them. So that's filios. Then the last but not the least, the main one that the international world, the <laughs> international world, the main one that everybody is celebrating, Eros, okay, that's emotions, okay, that is love for your significant other, your partner or your spouse, okay, what do you do? Understand their love language, do you know the love language of your spouse, it could be one, it could be two, it could be a combination of all of them, <laughs> Because there are some people like that. Um, they want quality time, they want to touch them, they want a um, gift, uh, they want words of affirmation. So it can be all. So, what do you. Do? Something I wanted to just say in this Eros thing is like I said earlier, it's better you do it once a year than you don't do it at all. So, if there's one day that's dedicated for celebrating love, please celebrate it. Mm, please, let's celebrate it. Because as Christians, that's how we would not say. Uh, we are not doing it. It's not a Christian on your day. And there are some people, even pastors, who don't ever take the time to do something for their wives. Yes. So please show love. Hmm? Show love on Valentine's. Be intentional. That's another thing. You have to think about it. Like Valentine's is coming up. What can I do for my spouse? You should have been thinking about it all year round. You should have been a way of life. You, your life is a life of service. You serving him, him serving you. Okay? And then, Valentine's is just a good opportunity for you. Like I said, once in a year is better than not at all. So think about it, be intentional. What does this 
person like? You can even ask them, what do you want? If you are so clueless, ask them, what do you want for Valentine's or what should we do for Valentine? You don't even have to go out. Most times when you go out, everywhere is crowded, everywhere is packed, everybody is going out on Valentine's Day with their lover. You don't have to go out, you can spend time in your, in your home, you can make a really nice romantic dinner with candles, or it could be breakfast, it could be brunch, whatever it is. You know, spend time, it doesn't even necessarily have to be on Valentine's Day, go home, but do something. Look at your wedding album, write in your gratitude journal, yes, every couple should have their gratitude journal. Rub your feet, you know, do pedicure, manicure, you know, if her braids are old, take out her hair for her and give her money to do hair. Do you understand what I mean? Be intentional. Be intentional. Buy a gift for the person. If the person is not too big on gifts, spend time with the person, okay? What you would usually not do, but you know that this person really likes, please do it this Valentine's for that loved one. And if you're single, because when I talked about heroes, I was only talking about couples and people that are relationship or married and all of that. If you're single, you can still spend Valentine's Day in a beautiful way, okay? So make a meal that you love. Um, or order some food from outside and you know take it to go or um, bring it home or ask them to deliver it either way. Get some chocolate for yourself, maybe some ice cream. If you're a very healthy person, maybe you make a smoothie for yourself and get some healthy treats. Sit down, get a very nice movie, one or two. Sit down, enjoy your movie, eat what you want to eat. When you finish, go and sleep. But still, don't forget that you still have to do the one of filial and the one for a gap even. Tell somebody about Jesus this Valentine's. Tell somebody about the gospel. That's all I have for today's video, guys. I want to wish you a very beautiful day of love. Um, I pray that you have enough to give out and that you give love and receive love in return on this beautiful day. I love you all so much. Thank you for supporting my channel. Check my channel. This is your first time of coming to my channel. Please check it out. I make, you know, like I said in the beginning, videos about food, faith, lifestyle, and all of that. Um, until next time, guys, be the best version of you. I love you and God bless you.